Okay, let's run a few more commands and then back up our configuration file from our switch to our TFTP server, the server that we've set up. And we're also going to back up our iOS, our operating system, from the switch to the server that we set up to handle that. Okay, uh, another thing we want to do is I'm going to exit out of global config mode and take a look this time and do a um, show let's do a show command here mac dash address tab table and let's take a look at our mac address table of our switch okay and you can see that the switch only knows one mac address and it happens to be the mac address on port fa0 slash 23 so our switch knows about this server right here right because this server pinged the switch so it knows about that one but it doesn't know about these other um, it doesn't know about these other entities out there so let's find out about them okay so what happens if I from the switch ping 192.168.1.254 right can I ping well I can't ping a 192.168.1 um, computer if my IP address on my switch is 192.168.9 network. So I'm pinging a different network there. So that's not going to work. Huh. So what can I do? Well, I can, from this server, I can, I can ping the switch. Let's try that. So ping the switch here. Ping. 192.168. Or I'll ping, actually, what I'll do is I'll ping one of the other computers. So he'll ping 100. There we go. And let's just try for the sake of argument to see if we can ping the switch, right? Switch is 254. Can we ping the switch? No, once again, separate network and there's no router. I'm on the one network. Okay, so that didn't work, right? But I could ping the other computer. So what I'll do is I'll take these guys here and open up a command prompt and have them ping 192.168.1.101. Okay, that was successful. And then I'll have this guy ping 102. Okay, that's happening. So now what I'm doing is, is I'm having these clients pinging each other, right, on the one network. And, and let's see if the switch has built up its MAC address table now. So we'll open that up and we'll put in that command again, show MAC address table. And you can see now that the MAC address table on the switch is full of MAC addresses on the different ports, port 2, port 1, port 24, port 3, and port 23. So the, the switch has learned about all these other MAC addresses that are out there and it's put it in its table and attached it to different ports in its table, right? The switch learns MAC addresses from source uh, from the source addresses as the frames hit the switch it can strip off the frame header and it will put the source mac address into its table okay i'm going to label these guys before we move on this switch right here is let's see here switch to okay and ip address 192.168.99.2 254 and that was the management IP address that we gave it and then this server here is um, we'll call it just s for server and then I'll say 192.168.99.253 so 99.254 99.253 and then 1.254 and then 1.102 1.101 and 1.100. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to back up our configurations 
from the switch to this server here. And to do that, we need, we're need we going to use a TFTP server. So we'll click on this server, go to config, and we'll check out make sure TFTP is on. All right, TFTP is on. All right, you can see it's on. And you can see a bunch of um, operating systems from all the different platforms that are already stored in its its directory, its folder, right? So this is this is emulating a folder on the TFTP server on the hard drive of the server, just emulating that. And you can see on my other one, on this first one that I did, if I click on server here and go to TFTP, you scroll down and look what it says here, Dan's iOS.bin. There's the operating system that I backed up to the server and then my configuration file, Dan switch dash config. So that's what we want to do on this server right here. Okay. And to do that, we're going to need to do a couple things. Click on the switch. All right. And one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to say show flash. All right. I'm going to do show me flash. If I do that, I can see that in the flash memory, I just did show flash memory, you can see there is the operating system. It's c 2960 landbase mz dot 122-25.fx.bin. It's a bin file. That is the operating system in a file, right? It's a dot bin file, right? So now I know that is, I write this down. So I've written that down on paper. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up my running configuration to a startup config file on my switch. So I'll say copy and this is running dash tab config to startup dash tab completion config. Copy running config startup config. And it says, hey, do you want a destination file name startup config? Yep, just hit enter and that defaults to yes. And I've done that also. You probably know, already know this. You can just do copy run start. Okay, and that also does it backs up the config file. So now we're ready to back up our config file to our server, right? Just to double check, can we ping the um, server? 192.168.99.253. We can, so we know we're communicating with the server, so this should work fine. So I'll say copy, start, tab, startup config, TFTP. So copy space startup config startup dash config space TFTP and it says give ask for the address or name of the remote host. I'll just give it the IP address 253 and destination file name and let's give it a special name Dan's config and hit enter and writing startup config and looks like it worked and to double check go and click on the server and then click on TFTP and look to see if it's in there and if we look hey, there's Dan's config so that worked 